Hi, this is Pavan Panth, Director of Product Management at CloudSwitch, and today I'm going to walk through a quick video showing you how customers can deploy and configure a firewall in the cloud to create a secure public IP gateway to the cloud. This capability is particularly useful for customers who want to have a colo-like deployment with multi-tiered applications in the cloud. It's also useful for customers who want to deploy internet-facing applications to the cloud to help reduce bandwidth constraints within their data centers. In our previous how-to videos, we covered activating the CloudSwitch appliance and creating or moving service to the cloud. As mentioned in those how-to videos, we have a CloudSwitch library that provides resources that can be moved for the cloud. Once you have your servers in the cloud, the next step in allowing public connectivity to the cloud is to move our SmoothWall firewall in the Network Library folder to the cloud. Our Network Library folder has one firewall at the moment, but we intend to add many more network-related infrastructure components in the near future. You can simply pick the SmoothWall firewall, verify the server configuration, and fit it to the cloud using our CloudFit function, which ensures that you pick the best combination of processor, memory, and storage. You will see a warning when moving the SmoothWall firewall to the cloud. By default, CloudSwitch blocks all traffic from the firewall back to the data center. I'm going to fast forward through the migration process so we can see the end result. Our SmoothWall firewall has now started in the cloud. Before continuing with the configuration of the firewall, I wanted to quickly point out that I have a multi-tiered SharePoint deployment in the cloud. I also wanted to point out the IP address for one of my SharePoint servers. This will come in handy when we are configuring firewall rules at the end of this video. Back to the firewall configuration. Now that we have a running firewall in the cloud, you will notice two interfaces. One to connect to the internet and one to connect back to the data center. If you open a CloudSwitch console to the firewall in the cloud, you will be asked to set up the green interface. This interface needs to be configured with a static IP address from your internal data center network. As you can see here, I have configured the green interface with an IP address from my internal network. Once this configuration is complete, you will be prompted to enter a root password for command line access, an admin password to log into the SmoothWall web administration pages, and a password for the setup user in case you need access to the setup process again. Once this is complete, SmoothWall will take care of the rest of the configuration. You should now be able to browse to the SmoothWall's web interface, which can be accessed over HTTPS port 441. The first time you connect to the SmoothWall's web interface, you will probably see a browser warning. This is normal, so all you need to do is accept the warning to access the interface. After accepting the certificate, you will have access to SmoothWall's web interface. Once in the interface, you can configure firewall rules for incoming traffic, outgoing traffic, timed access to resources, quality of service configuration, and all other capabilities you would find in a fully functional firewall. As an example, SmoothWall is able to forward incoming traffic to machines behind it on the internal data center network. I will now configure a firewall rule for one of my SharePoint servers in the cloud. I want all incoming traffic headed to port 2000, sent to port 2000 of my SharePoint server in the cloud. This is the same server that I had pointed out earlier in the how-to video. You can simply give it a friendly name, add it to your list of rules while making sure it's enabled if that's what you'd like, and now you have a firewall rule for your SharePoint server in the cloud. This is just one of many features you can take advantage of with our SmoothWall firewall. As shown in this video, CloudSwitch allows customers to move or provision multi-tiered applications to the cloud and create a secure public IP gateway to the cloud. That concludes the use case to deploy and configure a firewall in the cloud using CloudSwitch. Do check out the rest of our content and please feel free to contact us if you have any questions. Thanks for listening.